All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we have Vladimir Ribikov, and he is a full-time Forex trader, uh, mentor, and internationally certified financial technician. So welcome to the show, man. Thank you very much. Nice, nice to be here. Thanks for having me, and uh, hello to everyone. Of course, man. Grateful to have you on. Uh, so I'm actually, and I was telling uh, you this uh, before, I'm really excited about this because I was telling Vladimir that this is actually a selfish episode for me. I really want to learn more about Forex. So I hope everybody listening enjoys it. But this one, this one's for me. <laughs> okay. So um, first thing, I, I kind of like to start here a lot of times with interviews because I'm always curious how people got to where they are. So when you were younger, did you have any idea that you'd do, be doing anything of the sort of like helping people with their finances or Forex trading? Well, no, to be honest, uh, the only thing that was clear, according to my father and my aunt, uh, they were telling me that since I was a kid, I always insisted that I will not be like anyone else. <laughs> and I will, I will find some different way. When they, were, when they did ask me what will be the other way, I will tell them whatever it takes, including winning a lottery. <laughs> it looks like I was, uh, I was a unique kid, but I didn't win a lottery, at least uh, yet. But uh, no, Forex, I discovered it uh, absolutely spontaneously, randomly, I don't know, n n never planned. I started uh, in the MLM, the multi-level marketing. Okay. You know, what, what used to be called a pyramid and uh, whatever. Uh, I tried my luck there. <laughs> never worked properly <laughs> never worked well yeah. i got a few bucks i did some some money but never like uh, all these promises but the good thing that happened is one of my friends who introduced me to mlm back then uh he was the first one to start the forex live seminars uh it was like we're talking about like the 2000s right it's like long long time ago and like wow for i i, I was teenager back then like i was absolutely hooked into that like wow that looks something cool i went to a seminar and that's it i knew that that that's my past that's my way i had no idea how it's going to be like but i i, I figured out that it's something that i really want to do everything got me into that the potential the the freedom it offers uh the charts i don't i i i, I love mathematics i love analyzing and I love watching the big picture. Every, in everything in life I do, I always love to look like, um, you know, like when you play chess, few steps forward. Yeah. So uh, I, I love charts and I love imagining how it's going to happen. So I don't know uh, how, but that's it. I, I decided that's going to be my pass. And since then, every single day I worked uh, more and more and more into that until, until, until it happened. That's amazing, man. So... Okay. So what I'm gathering from this, when you were younger, and it's actually interesting. So we're kind of similar in that way. I remember being younger too and telling my, I think it was both my parents, but the memories with my dad, even more so just being like, I'm not going to be like the normal nine to five. I'm not working a nine to five. Like I will figure something out, even if I like win the lottery or like what. And I said these same statements. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, and yeah, it was just like always in me. I just wanted to do, I just wanted to be my own boss, I think was the biggest thing. I wanted to be an entrepreneur and kind of live on my own terms. So, okay. So Forex, let's, let's jump into that. And then obviously I think based on what the research I've done on you and some other things that you just said, uh, you do more than just Forex though. Forex is just a part of it, but obviously when you say financial, actually, let me ask you this. So when you say financial technician, how would you define that? Like, what exactly does that mean? Technical analysis is my field. That's uh, okay. that's uh, where I got my certification. Um, and I, I was working for brokers. I was uh, working for um, private uh, hedge funds capitals. And at some point, I decided that before I build family, I'll give it a shot. If it happens, it happens. If not, I can always figure out something later on. Um, luckily for me or... You know, luck, luck is a dividend for the for those who work harder. So yeah. probably I probably I did it uh, this way, um, but I found my way in, in forex. I left uh, all the industry, I would say, the official, the professional industry, and I started to be a retail trader. Quick enough, I, I figured out it's absolutely boring. It's just me and four walls, and I'm a social <laughs> guy. I'm not a lonely wolf. 
I'm yeah. so very social guy. I need people. I need communication. I need to yeah. feel. I need some meaning. I need to understand that like I I contribute. I I I'm doing something valuable, and that's where the idea of uh, opening an online community business uh, came um, first. And uh, yeah, everything we did since is uh, where we are today. <laughs> but yeah, trading is a very very lonely business, uh, and it's important to understand it. Yeah, no, for sure. It's um, it, we're again, we're very similar in that way too. My major in um, college was actually accounting, and then I decided to drop out. And now everything I do is very involved with people. I could never just sit in a room by myself. <laughs> it's just not not for me. There you go. Um, so let's highlight forex for now, and then we'll jump into some other financial stuff. So, I guess my first question to be like, what are some of the biggest misconceptions about forex? Like based on your experience, um, yeah. What what are some of the biggest misconceptions? Uh, well, I, unfortunately, if forex have been so strong, man, so many things on the last uh, couple of decades. Um, I'm fortunate enough to start forex when it was the old days when you had to call <laughs> your broker to be quoted and make a deal. <laughs> Oh wow! It yeah. was nothing like that. Like nowadays, that you you know, from phone you open a trade. It's, it's like no, you had to call, get a quote, uh, put the volume, get approved. That's uh, it's it sounds it sounds like a, you know, sounds like like a dinosaur. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I'm fortunate enough to catch it because you know you, you grow into that. You go through all these changing things and different phases of the market. Uh, and then it was the boom of the robots. Yeah, it was the 2010 or so, when everybody was robot, 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 right? Like $90 robots, and everybody was like uh, believing in that. That was the first, uh, I would say, scam, because most of these things never work, never worked. Maybe for some period, but not, uh, not for the long run in the market. Then all the new regulations and all the changing uh, things uh, in the market. Then the fake, uh, basically, it's wherever I believe, it's not only Forex, wherever money is involved, there are scams, there are uh, fake promises, there are gurus or uh, whatever you yeah. <laughs> choose to, to call them. There are those who pretend to be and there are those who will, will do whatever it takes to sell you the dream and leave you leave you there mm -hmm. uh, with a nightmare uh so um that's the problem the biggest problem with forex the all the online fake things happening promising the skies delivering absolutely nothing yeah uh, so from one side it's sad from the other side you know uh i believe in the saying look on the on the positive and everything on the other side it it opens the eyes for S such a mass of people and for those who are uh willing to look at the reality and not uh, fall into all the empty promises and beliefs uh there are there are great opportunities so forex is absolutely amazing market and for those who are really really willing to understand how it works how it goes uh and um put some effort into that disciplined effort it's 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 an absolutely amazing market. So, and actually, because um, I just realized some people listening might not even know what it is. How would you define like what is forex trading to begin with? How would you describe what it is? Well, forex is currencies, <laughs> foreign yeah. currencies, foreign exchange. It's where you exchange currencies. Um, the the first uh, automatic things in coming in imagination is like exchanges, right? When you travel the world, you go to exchange and you exchange dollars to whatever it is, like bots or uh yeah pros, exactly. whatever right um yeah. but basically it's the same concept same logic but it's everything happens uh in digital way if it's the app uh or if it's uh on computer with brokers who are connected to the real market and all this exchange happens uh, automatically without you being involved doing anything you just buy and sell buy and sell buy and sell um currencies different currencies and the idea is just so people understand of like how to make money with it the idea is you're like buying one currency and then hoping that currency goes up in value and then sell it or transfer it back but it's like 
this constant like small trades in a sense correct it could be small it could be long term like like anything in life when you sell something and you, when you buy something and you are looking to sell it in better price in order to make some profits uh, so forex is not different it's uh, absolutely same like any other uh, business or any other uh, money uh, transaction and then because that's one thing that i've heard is a lot about the bots so would you say that there are any like bots out there that are kind of like good or predictable in outcome or you would say you definitely want like a human to be making the decisions so yes there are <laughs> but yeah. it's important to understand that if you expect from a machine that costs 90 dollars uh to always deliver profits for you it's it, it, it's um uh, silly yeah. it's a wishful <laughs> thinking right it's a wishful <laughs> thinking. Yeah. but uh unfortunately it's not going to happen my, 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 the market changes uh the there is always different phase and one bot cannot predict the changing market conditions so if there are people behind the bot and constantly updating the uh, the algorithm making sure it corresponds to what happens on on, on the market right now then yeah absolutely it's a legit uh, bot and it could uh, work but just for comparison right the biggest hedge funds invest multi-millions in developing uh, such algorithms so to expect from a bot you know for <laughs> 40 or 90 bucks to always deliver it's um yeah <laughs> it's a good wish but it's it's it, it's not going to work so yes there are good tools there uh which are behind them there are you know brilliant brains um but again uh, they will not cost 40 dollars <laughs> yeah for sure so what are um so I have a couple of questions here. So one is for a story uh, for you is like, have can you share like some of your biggest, I, like biggest failures, but then biggest successes with Forex like um, that, that you've had, like, I guess it could be like a trade or rather like something that you thought would work and it didn't or something that really worked, um, you know, something along those lines. So. I will not focus on, on a trade, even though every trader has some trades that we should simply remember about it. But uh, no, for me, the biggest failure was uh, to blow up the money that my parents saved for my university. Uh, wow. you know, I was born in Belarus and, you know, the my parents are the old school uh, <laughs> Belarus or Russian education. Like, so you have to go to through a very specific path, get your degree, go to work, you know, the, 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 the classical way uh, yeah. and um, somehow I managed to convince them to that I, I will do it differently so they gave me the the shot and I blow this account so that was very embarrassing a very humiliating in, in, in some at some some way uh, at some time I even couldn't really look at their eyes properly you know without this feeling that I I failed. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I sold them some dream that I can do it and boom <laughs> everything like explodes in, uh, in, wow. in in their face so yeah that was my my probably biggest failure there were many different failures of course uh, and big losses on the way from trading but this is something I always remember that's it's it's a moment that after I uh, it took some time to recover from that but after that I said whatever it takes I'm gonna make up for that whatever it takes uh, mm -hmm. so it's like my my first man decision <laughs> you know yeah for sure. and my biggest success i i think um yeah of course there are some amazing trades but my biggest success is the the club i run nowadays i think we have an amazing community and a real community i mean there are people there from all around the world i had the privilege to meet so many of them um we're traveling around the world well before covid started we, we used to travel around the world make these meetings club meetings spend time talk to people it's huge privilege um and you know you you get, you get these letters on how you affected lives nothing can uh, compare to that nothing yeah man i i agree with same with what i do with helping like people become authors like when you just see the impact that you've had on others i think that's one of the coolest things ever and yeah. actually similar with your story too man when i dropped out i, I think Here's a lesson here. And what you just said is that when you put yourself 
there's actually a song called bullet and a target by citizens cope it's the uh-huh. name but and what the song is about is that essentially when you put yourself in a situation where your back's up against the wall and like you it's that you're you're, you like force yourself to grow or to, to basically you're in a position where success is the only option, right? Like you won't allow failure. And I think though, most people are afraid to put themselves there. So they stay the normal route. And although you don't fail, you also can't really break out of the normal if you, you know what I mean? So you took a risk, it failed big in the beginning, but now you're here. Right. And it's, it's succeeded overall. Um, so either way, I just think that's a lesson that, you know, I, especially when you're younger, dude, take the risk. I mean, there's no better time to do it. That's a good point. I, I, I don't know, to be honest, not now as a, as a father to two amazing boys, yeah. I don't know if I would be able to take such a risk now, you know, with all the responsibilities, with all the commitments to go and leave an amazing job. I mean, being a trader, it's a very great income, especially when you're successful, but, uh, leaving that and chase a dream of being a retail trader i mean it's it sounds ridiculous by itself why would you do it you are managing millions and now you are going to what to, to trade the, your own account come on yeah so but 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 the freedom coming uh, with that and uh, that's why i decided you know i i believe i'll take the risk so i'll fail i'll fail no problem but at least i know i tried and i, yeah. I personally very much believe in there's a great quote that goes like the darkest nights usually produce the brightest star Mm, yeah yeah i love that and i love it i love it so yes there will be hard moments of course who who doesn't go uh, life puts you through shit sorry for that but (laughs) but face it right and if if you are able to face it if you are able to deal with that then absolutely the the next day is going to be different better and yeah that's that's how i build paved paved my way up you know that's uh for sure. No, I can totally relate. So tell us a little bit more about your community, because I think my next question for you was going to be, if somebody wanted to get started in Forex, like what would be a good starting point? So maybe you could answer that, but then also I'm assuming joining your community would be one of those ways. So tell us a little bit about both. Like how would you get started if you could go back? Like what would be a good place to start? And then also how does your community and mentorship work? Well, the, the first of all, the most important thing to mention, the best uh, way to start is start. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I know. <laughs> not, do not plan too much. Do not wish too much. Because what the mistakes I did is uh, I'm a self-built trader. Um, maybe I can say it proudly, but maybe also not proudly because I could avoid some mistakes I did on the way if I would be able to find someone who would really lead me there. I, I didn't. And also, to be honest, I didn't have, when I was a teenager, I didn't have the money to pay for someone who, I mean, what, what do I know from my life, right, as a teenager? Uh, so I I didn't have that money. I didn't have the privilege. And I was trying to get as much information from as many sources all at once. And it's so confusing because you are trying to do everything all the time. And you are not really trying to to to, to rely on something on you, you don't deal with fundamentals, right? You are trying to build first, second, third, fourth uh, levels without having a proper fundamentals first. So my recommendation after going through the journey is first of all understand what is the market, how things work, uh, who plays against whom, uh, you know. F- figure out the terms that it's important to understand. What is a buy? What is a sell? What is a volume? How do you actually make a transaction? How do you choose your broker? All that important things, it's, 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 it's critical. Just to put the money on the first broker you see online and start buying or selling because somebody says or because you saw some promising, beautiful video on TikTok, does not going yeah, I know. to make you money. It's all that's over the, TikTok. <laughs> that's that's yeah. the reality. So for those who are really into that, like in anything else in life, build the fundamentals. First of all, understand where are you stepping in. Yeah. The next step is yep, start start with the basics. Right? Basics, analysis, the methods, 
basic understanding of the fundamental analysis, basic understanding of the te technical things. How do you work with the charts? How do you find the levels, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And then if that something keeps you, keeps the same interest, because usually I believe in the law of like, like with ordering something, don't order something for the first seven days. After that, if you still need it, order it, <laughs> right? Because ah. most of the times, most of the times, we don't need things we order or, or we need, right? We see something cool and like, yeah, let's order. Hold on. Give it even not seven days, even three days. Because usually this fire, the instant fire, it will disappear. Same, same with trading, right? If you find the interest still after you uh, started to dig into that, after you saw some art, you read some articles, saw some videos, read some books, if it still keeps uh, this fire in you and you want to progress, that's good. That means there is a forex is something that really could be meaningful for you. Because for most people, it's simply that ch chasing the dream. Maybe I can make some quick money, like the NFTs, like Bitcoins, like, like anything. It's a new trend, right? So this trend is always like changing and repeating, changing and repeating. So, and then of course, if you <laughs> finish the first two levels uh, successfully and it's still, you have this interest and you want to dig deeper, then, yep, um, go, go and read advanced books, advanced analysis, strategies, and that's the time to start and try to trade mm -hmm. with understanding. You might fail several times, and most likely you will. And it's good because if mm -hmm. you are one of those people that are willing and able to learn from mistakes, then mistakes will be the best teachers in your life, better than any mentor. Definitely. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Yeah, you definitely remember when you lose a big chunk of money. <laughs> you learn yes. from that. <laughs> yes, yes. So um, uh, that, that's my recommendation. And you, you you were mentioning my club. So yeah, after all these years, uh, we recently, actually, like a couple of months or so, opened uh, the new format of the club, of the community club, the Home Trader Club. Mm -hmm. So after all the experience I got, it, in the past, it was Traders Academy Club. I, I changed it in a way that everyone can take it from really step one all the way to the latest step. So we mm -hmm. have... I, I don't know how much content, but like 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 a Wikipedia web inside. <laughs> so much content for all the levels. Uh, and uh, it's built very, very user-friendly for, for absolute beginners, then more advanced, more advanced, more advanced. And then, of course, the place where we actually trade, where I share my trading ideas and I follow them up on a on daily basis, basically. So uh, that's the Home Trader Club. And that's, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, for me, maybe the biggest success in all my journey is to have this community and affect the people. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm definitely going to check it out myself and anybody listening that's interested, highly recommend you check it out too. What is it? Um, another question I actually have for you. So that seems, is that like a monthly membership or something? Is that how that we have works? both monthly and annual um, annual? Gotcha. Gotcha. And then do you, um, is there a level above where you, um, and I don't even know if this is allowed or not. So I'm just curious, like, are you allowed to like manage other people's money and trade it for them? Or is that not a thing that you No, I'm not allowed. No, you, yeah. and you need a very specific license for that. I don't have the license of managing someone's money. Got you, got um, you. And uh, no, that, I'm, that, that's the part of the financial technician. It's technical analysis got in it, the trading. It. That's that's my field. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, no. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And I'm just, um, it's funny too. I think, and I've, I've said this on so many episodes, my dad, he, he is an accountant and he manages all my money. So I always say I'm, I'm very good at making money, but as far as understanding terms and managing money, I'm as ignorant as it comes because I've always let my dad do everything for me. So I don't know. Shit. <laughs> I do the same way. My wife does the same. Yeah, I so have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, no. I'll make it. You you do your thing over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm lucky enough to be, uh, you know, ma yeah. married well. It's one of yeah. these important things you have to do in life. So I'm very lucky to be married super well, extremely That's well, amazing. because yeah. she is uh, so responsible. She's also the uh, old generation Ukrainian. Uh, my, my wife is Ukrainian. Yeah, the old generation, uh, and 
she's very responsible with everything because she's not going to spend it on a, a, yeah. everything, right? So I'm lucky. <laughs> you know what's interesting? And um, I don't know, um, just something to know. I don't, this is totally irrelevant from the interview, <laughs> but I'll just say that I, so I lived in Miami, that's my base. And I've actually dated a few uh, women that were Ukrainian actually. And for, like, I, they seem very just intelligent and on, and I'm making a generalization. So this is like funny, but I'm just saying that very like on top of everything, like every time I went out on a date, like, and very also like serious about the long term. like it would be like the second date and she would be like looking at me and she'd be like, so where do you see this going? Like, what, what is this? Are, are you all in on? Like, what do you want to do in five years from now? Like very. And I, I actually liked it though, because it's no bullshit. Like, it's just like to the point, like, I don't want to waste my time. What is this? And um, so either way, I have an appreciation and God bless you, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Very much. Um, <laughs> um, so, okay. Um, another question about the finance stuff and then just a couple others, just more about you. Cause I'm just curious. So besides Forex, what other stuff are you um, uh, like into as far as, or is it only Forex specifically? No, no, no. Forex is my main thing. You know, you you, you find your place or so you stay in your place, but uh, there, there are times that there is nothing to do in Forex. I mean, as as much as I love Forex, but if the market doesn't move or if, if there are no opportunities, then I cannot yeah. make money. And sure. there are periods, right? You can have an amazing month. You can have a absolutely terrible month. You can have a break, even quarter. I mean, nobody can predict the, the, the market, right? So um, it's if it's not like, like a salary when you work, you know what you're going to deliver. Yes, I have my averages. Yes, I know at the end of the year, I'm going to make my percentage. But during this period, <laughs> there, there is nothing stable. So for me, it's a long-term game always. Gotcha. Uh, and that's how I treat it. And at the moment I switched that, that thing in my mind, it helped me a lot because most people, like if they don't make a money in the end of the week or end of the month, they're like giving up. Like, no, nah, that's not for me. Why? Who promised you? It's gonna, it's like a business. Are you going to <laughs> pay check yourself every single month? I guarantee not. Uh, right? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, once you change it, it's different. But no, I'm I'm I into crypto. Okay. Not not proud with my performance <laughs> since the, since the drop. I don't know of anybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm into crypto. I'm involved with several uh, great projects. Uh, so uh, let's catch up in ten years. I'll tell you if it was a good call or not, or maybe just okay. <laughs> yeah. failure. Uh, and um, no, it's pretty much that's what I'm doing right now. I run my club. Uh, I'm involved also in. Um, you mentioned before the algorithm. So um, I'm very fortunate to be in a team now that are building algorithms. Like behind, uh-huh. yeah, absolutely technical and mathematical approaches. That's what I love the most. Um, and it's always updates with the market. As I told before, if, 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 if an algorithm would be able to change with the market, with the market cycles, with the market phases, this algorithm has... Uh, yeah, you know it's 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 a legit creation. So that's what we are doing right now, and that's a very great project uh, which I'm proud of. Besides that, I enjoy the freedom uh, trading brings. Yeah. Okay. So that that would be this is kind of my, my my last question to you is so we talked a lot about the finance stuff and everything, but in your I'm I'm assuming this has provided you a lot of freedom. So like, what is your what do you like to do in your free time? Like, what do you do with all the freedom? Is the question. Well. I hope it doesn't sound like a cliche or something, but for me, when as I told you, I, I decided to go and take my risk before I build a family. So I have a family and I consider myself as a family man. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to be involved with the kids, like to see them growing and not just, you know, be present once in a while. <laughs> uh, no, I wanted to be involved. So I am very fortunate to be able to do it, like take them to school, bring them to school, go with them to classes, uh, watch them playing basketball, swimming, hockey, all this good stuff, uh, play with them and so on. So for me, it's the main part. And then my personal habit says uh, I love uh, all the entrepreneurship um, books. I love the self-improvement books. I love uh, thrillers <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I love uh, sports. 
Mm-hmm. So for me, it's gym, tennis, and soccer. That that's my thing. Whenever I have the opportunity, I'm there. That makes sense, dude. That's awesome. And yeah, I I agree. I think that's really cool that you like set it up that way, where you do have the time to watch your kids grow. Because I think a lot of times, and look, it's I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's just the unfortunate truth is a lot of times dads. And sometimes it's the one, but a lot of times it's the dad that's working the whole day and they don't really get to be in the life of their kid as much. So it's really cool that you're able to do both. Um, so yeah, I guess last question I would ask you is, um, or just say is if there's anything we didn't cover that you wanted to, you know, please share it. And then also let people know like websites, social medias, like how can people stay in touch with you? So, uh, uh... First of all, I hope uh, people will take something, at least one little thing uh, positive from this conversation. And that means uh, I, uh, most me and you managed to deliver something for them, some value. So I hope that's the case. Um, yeah, I'm, my, my main suggestion is don't, don't rush into Forex specifically or anything else before you do your homework. Most people jump like into, you know, it's like, like a crush. You see some, someone in gym you like, and you already like do, do, do your moves without really understanding if, if, if it's right. So sa- same here, don't rush. Start, take, take your time. The market is going nowhere. There mm-hmm. will be opportunities tomorrow. There will be opportunities in the months. There will be opportunities in, in a year. Nothing will change, but you, you will just come smarter. So take your time, do your homework, do your um, uh, preparation, learn the basics before you step in. And as I said, um, if you decide to give it a shot in anything, Forex or any other, other thing in life, then do it properly. That's how I teach, teach, teach my kids. Whatever you do, do it the best way you can. Or don't do it. Just, just do it because, you know, to make it a check mark, it's a waste of time. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. But if you, if you decide you do it, then do it the best way you can uh, with all the best efforts. War thing, it's not going to work. It could happen. There is no guarantee it's going to work for everyone, right? Uh, so it's, it's a good thing maybe to say here, not everyone can be a trader at the end of the day, but everyone can become a trader. Mm-hmm. And it all goes with the efforts, with the discipline, and with, with not giving up on the little obstacles everyone will face at some point uh, uh, on the journey. So that's my biggest uh, suggestion. If you decide to do it and do it properly the best way you can, and put the efforts. No, don't say tomorrow or I'll, I'll come to that because tomorrow never comes. Mm-hmm. It's uh, when I was doing that, I was working for the brokers and every night I was coming, it was different city. I was driving one half hour back and forth. I came home. I was sitting until one or 2 a.m. doing my, uh, my studies. I was reading books. I was watching the chart, paper trading, then real trading and learning every single trade track recorded to learn. What did I do good? What did I do terribly? And how, how can I improve in order to avoid these mistakes later on? So yes, it's hard. You miss sleep. Uh, sometimes I don't go to social uh, events when you know when, when my, my, all my friends are going to drink. Yep, it's it. You have to sacrifice something. Um, so it's important to understand it before you step into that. And uh, about myself, then uh, all my uh, social things. I'm not. I'm not a big uh, rockstar of like the, like the other uh, young kids in the Instagram. <laughs> I, I feel like a dinosaur when I watch them. I'm like, oh my god, where mm-hmm. they are doing such an amazing job, incredible job, and all these social media with images and videos. I mean, that's I. I don't know how to do it. I mean, that's not you. <laughs> no, I don't know how to do it. Uh, and um, yeah, so I'm not that uh, uh, famous there, but it's all stands for my name, Vladimir Rybakov on all the social medias. If it's the YouTube, the channel or the TikTok recently opened uh, and Instagram uh, and my website, my main website is uh, hometraderclub.com mm. and my blog where I, we also put uh, all the articles and everything. It's vladimirrybakov.com. It's uh, all uh, straightforward. Simple. Oh, Dude, thank you again. I, I really appreciate it. Like I said in the beginning, I this was also for me, like I really just wanted a good overview and I feel like you laid a very good like landscape and foundation for people uh, for Forex and just really financial and making decisions in general. So thanks again uh, for coming on, man. And thank you very much for, for having me. Again, I hope the listeners would be able to find something uh, to take with them and uh, 
It, it, it's an honor. Thank you.